Um, before you guys came together as a group, you were working as uh, uh, at the Bliss Corporation. Is that yeah. is that correct? Yeah. In in Torino, yeah, Italy. What, what exactly is what is the Bliss Corporation? Well, we met each other in Bliss Corporation almost nine years ago, mm -hmm. and um, the first time we came there, Maurizio is a musician, me as a DJ, Jeff is a singer. Um, we we learned uh, how to to become a producer. Uh, in this corporation, this corporation is our recording company, and uh, was created in uh, 1992 mm. by uh, from uh, our producer Massimo Gabutti, mm -hmm. and uh, and so we start to work in, in the music business there, and uh, we uh, we work there. Uh, now as a producer, because uh, uh, AFL 65 is a, is a band is composed by um, a DJ, a musician, and a singer. But we are three producers. We, we all, uh, all the guys are uh, composer. All, all the guys working there in this corporation are composer, musicians, DJ, uh, engineering. And so you were already you were each recording independently of each other For before we, before no. I no no no. no. It's the beginning of our story. Even uh, uh, every uh, every every person of us mm -hmm. was was just the beginning. But talking about Beer, Bliss Corporation is a nice, it's a family too, mm -hmm. because uh, we live there every day of every week of every month of every year, uh, tw not less than ten, twelve hours. It's every, a home. Every, it's a home. How do you so. become a part of that? I mean, how does he? How do you get welcomed uh, in into the, that? In the most different way. <laughs> For example, me, I went thanks to the, uh, went to Bliss Corporation thanks to one of my best friends. I was used to go. Um, I was a musician in some band. I was used to go in a uh, club. You know. Mm -hmm. because, uh, first of all, we gotta say that Bliss Corporation is a recording company with five recording studios, almost nine now, with uh, twenty-five people working there. Uh, producers, music, musician, DJs. We have a videographic section. We take care about the video clip and all the stuff. We have a promo. It's a, it's it's a big, it's not a big, a, big not company. a big company, but it's it's a big family. It does, yeah. And uh, I went like uh, thanks to my this my friends, my best friend, which is a DJ, and which is the second guy in the in the Blitz Corporation. And Jeffrey, for example, the singer. He went to the in a very strange way because he he was used to live in a place far 105 one hundred and half uh, no sorry one thousand and a half <laughs> kilometers far from there. So thanks to, to a girl and thanks to a, an owner of a of a of musical instrument shop, mm -hmm. uh, he he knew the. Um, the address of the police corporation. He called, and after he he left all the things in. No, uh, just like he just left his life behind. Yeah, the family, the, the the ex girlfriend, the <laughs> all the stuff. Yeah. The university, yeah. It must be friends. a wonderful place. What is it about this place that make that so comfortable? It's music. so the music. The music. Everybody's the passion got the one for the music. The That's passion, right. and then uh, as Maurizio told you, is is like a family. Before uh, colleagues, we are friends, and we we believe uh, one in each other. And and uh, we, we used to work um, uh, together uh, in uh, we as mix between us uh, as in teams. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, we never work uh, really alone. Even if uh, each one of us is able to um, sit down in front of a computer and uh, and, and make uh, make a song alone right. for himself. But uh, we were used to 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 collaborate to and to work in team because we we believe in in that. And that collaboration yeah. and yeah. democracy. Yeah. And Blue, Blue was uh, was was uh, was an example because uh, he was working uh, on this uh, on these charts and uh, and Massimo the producer came mm. and uh, and gave him some advices uh, on the songs uh, on the song and Jeffrey came after and me uh, came the day after and Everybody we, we were together we, we we did the song in a couple of days. So tell me what what do you, what is the what is it about dance and electronic music that originally attracted you to that kind of music? What do you like? What is it about that that you feel passionate about? Um, most of all, uh, like I told you, we are a dance corporation, you know, mm -hmm. dance stuff. So in a, in every single label we have inside the Bliss Corporation, we produce a different style of dance mm -hmm. music. Uh, uh, we gotta say that we are we live in Italy. Mm -hmm. We we have the culture like in the European style, you mm -hmm. know. We have the culture of dance music. Uh, starting from the eight, from the seventies, yeah. going to the nineties, uh, uh, pass th passing through uh, names like Depeche Mode, like mm -hmm. Kraftwerk, mm -hmm. 
like uh, Erasure, like Jean-Michel Jarre. So we uh, we practically grew up with uh, with the electronic sounds, with the electronic big bands, you know, Duran Duran or uh, Spandau Ballad. And that's the reason why. And most of all, we are, you know, um, how can I say, fan of the club, you know? Mm -hmm. People who, yeah. who really club. like to go in club, mm -hmm. who really like to dance, who really like to make the people dance. Think about and it, before, before Blue came out, uh, I was uh, used to work in a famous club in, uh, in Torino, mm -hmm. is the, the city where we live, mm -hmm. and uh, Jeffrey and Maurizio every Friday night came uh, with yeah. me on the club dancing and uh, <laughs> we, we spent yeah. the night together in the club uh, uh, working. Uh, right. Each of us is, uh, was used to go, was used and is used to, to go in clubs something like four or five, five times so a week. So you just grew up around it and obviously that's why it so, so yeah. became such yes. an important thing for And in our club in Italy they play only, only dance music like, uh, like us like mm -hmm. like our music you know it's a little bit different here yeah i was going to ask you do you think there's a different mentality about dance music here in the states Absolutely. than in europe yeah Absolutely, yes. i remember with, the first the time we went here we we have a, we had a discussion with uh with the people from the uh, our licensor company here which is universal records mm -hmm. and they, they they told us that uh, for example uh, i don't know if it's true but they told me that uh you consider sometimes you consider dance uh, style like R and B or like hip hop. Yeah, mm -hmm. you have club. You have club that uh, the people where the people go to dance right. R and B and, uh, and hip hop. For us, it's uh, in Italy. It's yes. not like this. Uh, almost nobody knows R and B and hip hop. Oh really? We, we really like this kind of music. Yeah, we're fun, but we are man. musicians. We are we are in, into the music business. For the common people, R and B and hip hop and rap in it's Italy are, as, are absolutely. It's um, not unknown. very famous. So the what, the people in Italy listen to the kind of music that you guys make, the dance, yeah. the electronic music. Yeah. Uh, um, the, the the young the young people uh, listen to the dance yeah. music and. Uh, Do you think you want you want to try and? And we and have from from dance to techno to house to underground mm -hmm. the different kinds of, mu of music inside the right. dance. The yeah. dance stuff, yeah. Do you want to try and and expand your musical palette, so to speak, and use? American elements like R and B. We did it. In Absolutely, we did it. You have done it. Yeah, yeah. on on the on the on the album, the top no, now or something uh, that we're example, gonna. For we, example, we have some. But you know, our our style is is uh, it's a little bit different, uh, even if we, if it's if it's considered dance music. Because if you if you have the opportunity to listen all the tracks of uh, our first mm -hmm. album, you can notice that it's not really dance all the songs. Right. right. First of all, our intention is always to put dance groove and pop song because we like to write song yeah. the classic song you know with verse with chords with harmony with melody with all with lyrics with a meaning in the lyrics as italian <laughs> as italians we it's, it's very important we're for looking us, for the know? melody and right. for, yeah. for all the stuff so it's kind of uh, what we are looking for is a crossover between the two, the two styles you know? right i see so and uh, Talking about the influence about American style, I think, for example, one of the version of the third single is an hip hop version, which is Too Much of Heaven, the first track mm -hmm. of the album, is a is an hip hop style, is an hip hop uh, R and B stuff, yeah. style. And uh, one curiosity, I remember when was the time to do the ver to make the version about it. Uh, we bought something like I don't remember how many yeah. CDs, like Cisco, one and six months CDs. ago. Twenty CDs, right? Yeah, From Cisco, Kelly, uh, Kelly, Puff Daddy, Puff Daddy, listening to all the R&B and hip hop yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Just today, um, uh, uh, we w we went in a in a, in a record shop mm -hmm. in here in uh, Melrose in, uh, Avenue. Yeah, in right. Melrose Avenue, and uh, and I bought something like uh, 20, 20 <laughs> vinyls. With uh, thousands of dollars R and B in stuff, and stuff that you'll end yeah, because is uh, is something we like. We, we take inspirations mm -hmm. uh, from uh, every every place we go. From every everything we listen that we like uh, is uh, is something that uh, that that can. Uh, you, just, you try to use when it's time yeah. right, to work on right. your music. Right, I was going to say you probably end up using some of that stuff in the next album or in the next single that you guys write. Yeah, or um, I can I, I can say that 
probably we Which everybody do does that. Yeah, you know, every, yeah, yeah, every yeah. musician takes inspiration from somewhere. And yeah, that's, to, that's yeah. the point. We don't want uh, that people consider us just a dance, right. uh, a dance band. Because uh, uh, even if uh, in Europe, uh, Blue and Eiffel 65 were, were considered uh, dance, uh, now, now with too much, we, we, are, we, we have already released too much of heaven in Europe. Uh, mm -hmm. And in Italy, in France, and every country is working very, very good. And it's, uh, it's not really a dance track because it's slow. Is lower right. than, than than blue and move your body, and is uh, is more more pop than than dance, and this is one of the way that that we, we, we want to follow. What what was the most challenging part about working together when you first when you guys wrote the first song together? Was, was there anything that was difficult or mm, believe, very smooth? Believe me, blue. Believe me, blue was written <laughs> in one hour and a half. <laughs> really? <laughs> Can you imagine one hour and a half of your life? What could change? <laughs> you know what is the secret? The secret is uh, uh, if you sit down, uh, you put three, four people together and you say, okay, you have to make a success. You have to make a no. number one. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. If you, if you are used to, to work together, this is um, natural, you know, you sit down. It's funny. Yeah, yeah it's, it's funny. funny. I can say that it's um, funny. I, I remember that I sat down b b beside Maurizio that was working on the, on the song and, uh, and we spent two days on it and was... Only uh, laughing. Try to put this down. Like this one is not good. Uh, and no, we made, <laughs> and we made the, the, the first version of the song. And, and is always like that. O always. Every song has been that simple to create. For yes, you believe me. The, the, it's the, the best, best way song, to work. Yeah, yeah. The best way to work on a, on a... If you have a good track, is having fun. you spend only one hour for this song. Only for the composing. Mm -hmm. After you can spend, you know, hours, week, try to arrange it. You mm -hmm. know? But it's uh, it's uh, something more. It's mm. not the, the heart of the song, you know. When you when you write a song, your creativity is it's gotta be free, free, to, free, and, and you you gotta have fun. First of all, you gotta have fun. If you don't have fun, keep if your you mind try open. To, think right. to the money or success <laughs> or whatever, this is the wrong way. You can you can uh, you You're can. Uh, how can I say, G uh, run, you know? Right, right. you got to stay focused and have yeah. a good time. Which actually leads me to my next question, because most of your music seems to have a very positive feel. Yes. It's, very, it's always about, there's not much negativity in any of the lyrics, or, and even but just the sound of it. Do you consciously make an effort to make things that way? Is it important for you guys in the writing and recording to, to write about positive things? I Absolutely. think it reflects uh, our lifestyle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's yes, reflect our, our style and uh, for us, you know, music is a big, is a big way to communication, you know. That's, it's the same way, it's the same reason that we, we, we sing in English and not, and not in Italian, you know. Right. Why is that? Why do, why, did, why do you choose to sing in English instead of Italian? Uh, first of all, uh, we got to say that it's a typical situation of the dance music. Right. Yeah. In, uh, even in Italy, all, the, all the Italian staff or the Italian bands sing in English. It's right? more international, you know. Every people knows English, uh, every people right. can, can, uh, can, can understand uh, what we say in a song. If we, if we sing Italian, who Who's can understand? <laughs> yeah. Italians no, does about it. And after that is more musical. <laughs> English is, uh, is, is, the, is the most musical language we know. Right. So if you want to send a message and you have uh, good lyrics, you know, you, you put some really deep mean in meaning inside a, inside a song. If you sing in Cyrillic <laughs> or in Greece, <laughs> I, I don't think the people could uh, recept it, you know. And that's the reason why we, we sing in English. But anyway, it's important, you know, for the creativity. It is, and it's, imp things. it's important to be positive too. Yeah. Do you think is it important for you, for you to for the fans to uh, to know that that's what that that's yeah. what these songs are about? That they're positive yeah. songs. Yeah, yeah, I think because so. a lot of times I think with with dance music in particular, people are more concentrated. They're concentrating more on, on the, the beat. beat. Yes, on the, you know, I the, think this one is a big mistake. Mm -hmm. yeah. I really think that this one, this one is a big mistake. Probably if you if you talk about trance and progressive style, mm -hmm. techno trance, uh, this is based on energy. Mm -hmm. You can feel the energy. You can dance. Okay, uh, well, what we what we do is is a, is a bit different because, uh, as Maurizio told you before, we we always looking for a melody for a song inside right. the dance. Scene. No, but even 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 with the lyrics, if you you have if you if you, if you write a song, you um, a song with the verse with words. Why why you put uh, stupid words or why you <laughs> right. stupid rhymes or angry if, words or so if your words. if your creativity is good, you can uh, probably you are able to do something you know with a meaning. You you think something or not, 
That's yeah. the reason why. And we think positive. Probably, I don't know, in the, uh, in the future, if we have some, something, you know, like uh, more, something more sad or whatever, sometimes could happen, you know, mm -hmm. melancholic or whatever. Right. But for us, the life is good. We have fun <laughs> making music, so our, our message is absolutely positive. Yeah. It's Deep. an intention. Do, do you prefer, do you have more, or do, or do you enjoy more uh, the time that you spend in the studio or the time that you spend on stage performing in it's front of a an audience? It's different. It's, it's, it's there are two different uh, things. We, we love to stay in studio and compose. And Absolutely. In fact, we, we are far from home for, for almost two months, and the, the, the thing we, we, we miss the most is stay in the studio and uh, stay with Composing. our friends and mm -hmm. compose. Even if we, if we are trying to compose something, because we, we, we made a, um, we arranged a, a small recording studio in the bus, the bus. Uh, we used to travel. And mm -hmm. uh, when we have sometimes we, uh, we go on the bus and uh, we, uh, even for example, yesterday night uh, we, we composed uh, two songs on the bus. Oh, wow. we, we spend all the, all the night uh, composing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's something we like. And to stay on stage uh, is, uh, is a different experience. Uh, is, uh, is a, it's beautiful because you have the opportunity to, to be in front of your fans, uh, in front of the people that like your music uh, and that bought your CD. And this is uh, um, a special opportunity to, 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 to say thanks to them. Right. And mm. this is very important for us. And that's the reason why we, we are for almost two months in the US, uh, in tour everywhere, and uh, uh, doing uh, promotional right. shows. and. How have, the, how have the American fans been responding? Have they wow, been it's great. It's great. In every radio, uh, we, um, our tour here was based on uh, two different situations. One is the promotion, and one, uh, the second one was the, the performing mm -hmm. show. You know? the, um, I, if I have to, s to put some percentage, I think it's 75% 75, 75 uh, the promotion and 25% uh, the show. A promotion. And, uh, we did big stadiums like Dodger yeah, Stadium or right, right, right. Uh, pff, very big events. Yeah, uh, with many big other artists, and the reaction was great. Even the reports for the, the reports from the radio station from the people, they said, "Wow, they, you are great." I got, we got to say that uh, there was something like a prejudice, you know? Yeah, because you so. know, uh, talking about dance style, uh, European style, something mm -hmm. you, you try to. How can I say? Um, Maybe they expect. Um, they expect something more, f more playback or more uh, right. uh, fake, you know. And that's what we, we we aren't absolutely. We are always live. We 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 really want to do always with a real instruments on stage. Even if we are not an acoustic band, we are an electronic band. So we use the um, the DJ set, mm -hmm. the keyboard set, and the micro set. So people are surprised when they see that you guys are actually playing yeah. instruments yeah. and that yeah. everything's it's actually live. Some, something new. Yeah. yeah, that the people is not used to say it and to watch. But and anyway, our show is is really pointed to the people. Mm -hmm. The real artist on stage is the people. It's, it's not <laughs> us. Really. So that's, that's cool. why you should see Jeffrey on stage. It's really <laughs> is amazing. Yeah, <laughs> he, he always talk with mm, to the people and uh, a good rapport. Yeah. Trying to interact.